When you have to go against somebody like Logan Williams, much was said with Balaga when he went to the NFL. Yeah. I mean, what's the first thing to do? Get into him first? Because yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta get your hands inside and you know try to take that weapon away from them. You know, you can't let them use those long levers to their advantage. And with his with his height, is good. It may be an advantage just because it's you know you're taller than he is by several um, inches. And yeah, you know, it can you know those long arms are big for him. You know, uh, <laughs> you know he comes off the ball well. You know, he, he's a heck of a player. I don't, I don't know if being shorter helps him at all. Probably, I don't, probably not. I don't know. Is that where technique maybe comes yeah, in? Yeah, that's where play? that's where technique is so crucial. You know, to oh, yeah. being successful on the line. You know, you can be as you know as big and strong as you want, but if you you let a guy like Broderick in on your chest, you know he'll. Uh, He'll take you for a ride. What are some of your younger players? I mean, you, incoming freshmen, redshirt freshmen, yeah. you look, you're looking at you like, you know what, in about another year, once they get their technique down and a little bit of strength here and there, they're going to be somebody. Um, you know, there are a lot of guys, you know, guys that, you know, pop out. You know, I think of uh, whole line guys I see in the most. And I know that, uh, you know, the young guys from last year, Brandon Sheriff and Donald, um, I think that, you know, they're starting to be real good players. And, and you know, they could... They're going to be good players when they get a little bit older. Uh, about Austin Blythe, yeah, what have you seen? Austin Blythe, he's, uh, I think that definitely, uh, he came in about three weeks ago and uh, he's looking good so far. You know, big kid, um, you know, right now he's uh, learning everything from the strength and conditioning staff, but uh, I think that he might be a uh, pretty good player. What do you see out of the D line? I mean, from my novice point of view, it looked like you guys had your way with him. Uh, yeah, he probably didn't. See all of it, you know. They, they they do a heck of a job, you know. Coached under Coach Kaczynski, you know. They're always going to be uh, tough, and you know they're always going to be all right. And you guys had to deal with it first, yeah. like a couple of years ago. I think O A. Uh, you know, with King and Kroll, right? And yeah. Like that, and yeah. Dealing they, with that bunch. Yeah, they were. That was just a great group, you know. A bunch of those guys went to the league, and you know, you know, just now the next group that's uh, you know ready to go. Thanks, Marcus. Marcus, what's, what's most important for you guys this summer, in the next month and a half before camp opens? Um, definitely, you know, just improve in, in, in a lot of ways, you know, our conditioning, strength, speed, you know, got to get our conditioning ready for camp in the, in the season, um, and also also gelling as a team, coming together a little bit more. Um, as an upperclassman, there is not a lot of coach, or there's no coaching contact. Do you right. guys have to, yeah, you know, seniors it's, step in a little bit it's here. It's definitely and, a time where uh, being a senior, you got to take a little bit more of a leadership yeah. role. I remember when I was a freshman, the seniors did that, and uh, basically now it's your turn to do that. Is that kind of is that kind of a thing that's passed down year to uh, year? Definitely, you know, I can remember, you know, when I was a freshman, there was. Uh, you know, Seth Olson, you know, he was a guy that was always doing that. Rob Brueggemann, you know, they were guys that were always leading the way, and now that it's just kind of passed on, and now it's your turn to do it. What are the keys to doing that? I mean, what to you, I mean, um, to do, you know, to be you got to set leader. a good example, you know, yeah. you got to be accountable, you got to work hard.